Hey, shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. I thank you again for joining me today. Well, today I want to talk about uh, uh, the religious uh, Jewish group known as the Karaites. And uh, yesterday I did one on the death scenes. Please check it out if you haven't yet. And also, uh, I just want to give a big shout out to my supporters again and my uh, subscribers. Thank you again very much. I appreciate it. And uh, I want to talk about the Karaites, which uh, they're not mentioned in the, the Bible itself or anything, but their roots as far as when they came about is up, up to debate. But uh, I got this right here, uh, my notes. So I'm just going to go ahead and read it to you. And it says here, uh, the Karaites or roots were in Babylonia and Persia in the, the 8th century uh, of the Common Era. Uh, let's see. The Karaite Judaism <clears throat> is a sect, a Jewish religious movement characterized by the recognition of the written Torah alone as its supreme authority in religious law and theology. Uh, Karaites believe that all of the divine commandments which were handed down to Moses by uh, Yahweh were recorded in the written Torah without any additional oral law or explanation. So, right, normal, you know, normal Jude, uh, Judaism, just like the Pharisees, believed in an oral law. And uh, the Sagittarius didn't believe in the oral law, and the Karaites don't believe in it, or didn't and don't. Unlike mainstream uh, Judaism, which considers the oral law codified in the Talmud and and its works to be uh, authoritative interpretations of Torah. Karaite Jews do not believe that the written collections of the oral tradition in the Midrash or the Talmud are binding. According, according to Mordecai ben Nisan, the ancestors of the Karaites were a group called Beni Siddiq during the Second Temple period. Historians have argued over whether the Karaites has a direct uh, connection to the Sagittarius, dating back to the end of the Second Temple period, which is 70 CE. Or rather, the Karaites represent a novel emergence of similar views. Karaites have always maintained that while there are some similarities to the Sagittarius due to their rejection of the the rabbi's, the rabbi's authority and the oral law, there are major differences. In the ninth century was a man named Anan ben David, who is uh, considered the founder of this movement. At one time, Karaites made up a significant por uh, proportion of the Jewish population. In the 21st century, some 30,000 to 50,000 were thought to reside in Israel, with smaller communities in uh, Turkey, Europe, and the United States. Another estimate holds that of the 50,000 worldwide, more than 40,000 descends from those who made Aliyah uh, from Egypt and Iraq to Israel. <clears throat> the largest Karaite community today resides in in the Israeli city of Ashdod, unlike the normal, unlike the traditional Jews, Karaites do not practice the ritual of lighting Shabbat candles. In the Middle Ages, some such some such as the Karaite Jews in Greater Khorasan uh, viewed pronouncing the Tetragrammaton as the mitzvah because the name appears some 6,800 times throughout the Tanakh. Today, publicly, publicly uttering the Tetragrammaton is a controversial issue among the Karaites. And the Tetragrammaton is the, the holy name of, uh, well, it's Yahweh, Hashim. Uh, virtually all traditional view the pronunciation of Hashim, which is means the name, to be blasphemous, and uh, 
adhere to the rabbinic teach, uh, tradition of substituting Adonai when coming across uh, Yahweh while, while reading. Other Karaites and some of those coming from, uh, from a rabbinic uh, background like Nehemiah Gordon and Hakam, Mir uh, Rekhavi, as well as some joiners to the people of Israel through Karaite Judaism, such as James Walker and Daniel Ben Emmanuel, do not consider the pronunciation of Yahweh to be forbidden. There is, however, disagreement among scholars as to the correct pronunciation of the Tetragrammaton. Uh, but that's in a nutshell. That's what uh, a little piece of what uh, their origins, who they were, what they believe in, and things like that. And they're still with us today. I've practically I've never actually met a Karaite Jew. I've met Jews before, but I don't recall meeting a Karaite Jew before. Uh, I've seen uh, Nehemiah Gordon. I've seen him on some shows talking and talking and uh, being a guest 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 on some shows. And um, anyways, that's uh, that's all I've got about the Karaites. And if you're interested in looking them up, you can look them up online and get a deep dive into their origins and roots and uh, their beliefs and things like that. And uh, Anyways, that's all I wanted to say about the, the care rights, and uh, please uh, comment below. Let me know what you think about them, and if you, if you know them or anything, just let me know. Uh, it be a nice dialogue, and uh, also, uh, please give me a big thumbs up. Hit that notification bell and subscribe. I would appreciate that very much, and uh, you're also welcome to watch my other videos. There's a lot of them, so feel free to pick one or wh however many you want. And uh, with that said and done, I thank you again for joining me. Until we meet again, peace out and shalom.